that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about this chromatic movement from a bar chord. So going from G, G sharp, A. So if you've been working on bar chords for a little bit, or you have a good understanding of bar chords, what you can do is you can play the bar chord and then slide it up. And that is going to give you a, a good way of being able to move bar chords farther away from from the position and kind of holding that shape together. So if you want to go from G up to D, that might be a big movement where that shape kind of falls apart when you're trying to move it. So a good way to do this is just to try to make small movements. So G, holding that shape, moving it all up one fret. G sharp, moving it all again up a fret to A. And why we're calling this G, G sharp, A is the root on the E is G, G sharp, A. The full thing, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. And if you haven't looked at the bar chord video, bar chord is just playing E like this, where it and then moving that shape up and dropping your pointer finger down. And what I'm doing there is hitting down stroke on the G, up stroke on the G sharp, down stroke on the A. And that's what's giving that kind of like a Jimi Hendrix vibe. And then what I was playing at the beginning was E minor, E, C, and then moving over to that G, and then going over to A. So give it a shot and uh, let me know what you think. Have a good one.